What's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna talk about softball mechanics versus baseball mechanics. Now I know there's a lot of coaches and players and parents that think that there's a difference between the softball swing and a baseball swing. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So let's get right into it. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button below. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so it means so much to me if you did. Now, when we're talking about the sport of baseball and the sport of softball. There are some obvious differences, okay? Softball, the field is smaller, the base paths are closer, the pitcher is pitching underhand, and from closer, the ball is obviously bigger. And don't even get me started on rise balls. I still have nightmares about those. But when it comes to overall mechanics of the swing, there is no difference between a baseball swing and a softball swing. Physics are the same on a baseball field as they are on a softball field. And especially when we're talking about higher level elite hitters in both baseball and softball, the swing is identical. Whether that's Div 1, Div 2, professional, international, if you compare a high level baseball swing to a high level softball swing, there is no difference. But you'll see a lot of coaches and players in lower level leagues get away with just throwing their hands at the ball and finding barrels and being successful. In softball, I've even seen guys hit home runs like this. Now, does that mean that we teach our kids that swing? Of course not, especially if they wanna compete at the next level. Now, the main difference between hitting a baseball and hitting a softball is pretty much just with your approach. Now, in baseball, you'll see a lot of big leg kicks like this, and you don't see that as much in softball, mainly because the pitch is closer, the ball gets on you a lot quicker, so you'll see a lot of quieter loads like that. But in softball, if you want to do a big leg kick and you get your foot down in time, then that's totally fine. And even with rise balls, you still have to get your hands above the ball just like you do with a high fastball. And there's always the argument that a baseball is coming down, so you have to swing up. Softball is coming up, so you have to swing down, but that's false. Now, rise balls aside, even with softball, the ball is coming down at a slight downward angle. So you still want to come through the zone at a slight upward path. And even with rise balls, you're not gonna have a totally different swing for one pitch than you are with every other pitch. So now I'm gonna talk about the swing mechanics from start to finish. And if you can find a difference between softball and baseball, then let me know in the comments below. Okay, so starting with the batting stance, irrelevant, whatever's comfortable for you. First movement is gonna be the load, okay? So when we load, what we're gonna do is we're gonna coil this hip and sink into this rear glute like that, okay? And that's the load, okay? You'll see in baseball, a lot of times it looks like this. Softball, you see a lot of times it just looks like that. Okay, just kind of like a little heel lift. Okay, but either way, you're just coiling the hip and generating power with your load. So we're gonna load, stride to launch position. Once we get to launch position, a couple things that we look for, front foot slightly open, heads in the middle of our body. Our stride is around the size of our bat or the size of our inseam. Hands, elbow, shoulder, relatively on the same plane with the knob of the bat facing the catcher. Okay, that's launch position for both players. So from here, the first movement's gonna be this back knee is gonna drive under the hip, pulling the heel forward. Our hip's gonna start to turn. Now we're gonna start our hands in our upper half. Now with the bat's facing the catcher, we're gonna turn that towards the ball. Okay, our palm is at 45. We're gonna turn it so that's palm up. As we do that, this front arm is working up through the zone. Elbow stays tight to the body. Barrel stays connected to the shoulder to contact. As we're doing that, we're pushing off this front side to contact, at contact, okay? Head is above our back knee, shoelaces and hips are facing the pitcher, front leg is straight. We got a slight L on this on our arm here. We got a nice tilt on our shoulders like that to match the plane. Front arm is working up, palm up, palm down, and then we're gonna extend through the zone and finish. Now there's still a lot of softball coaches out there that believe that there is a difference between a baseball swing and a softball swing. So they try to convince players and parents that they need softball specific training. Now obviously there are some softball specific training like slapping and obviously pitching, but other than that, everything is the same. Fielding, hitting, throwing, all the mechanics are the same. So if you hear a coach tell you that you need softball specific training, run. And for me growing up a baseball player and now playing softball over the last couple of years, I gotta say, I absolutely love it. And honestly, I thought it was gonna be easy. Bigger ball, smaller field, metal bat, I'm gonna hit a home run every time. But let's just say that I was humbled very, very quickly. And that's not because I have a baseball swing versus a softball swing. It all comes down to experience, timing, and your approach. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I wanna hear your thoughts on a baseball swing versus a softball swing in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you next week.